I'm Lily. And I'm Jordan. And welcome to our research project on breast, breast cancer. cancer. Did you know that one in eight women in the U.S. get diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime? Yes. And every 13 minutes a woman dies from breast cancer. But in the United States, 2.9 million people have survived from this deadly disease. And thanks to research being done, the deaths caused from breast cancer have been decreasing since 1990. So today we're going to teach you about the research and what has done to make those deaths decrease. So the purpose of this is one, to find a cure for breast cancer, and two, educate you and everyone around you um, the severity and the frequency of this disease. So the first documentation of breast cancer was in 1600 BC in Egypt. And how it happened was people found an Egyptian tomb with the first eight cases of breast cancer written on it, and it said there was no treatments. <laughs> Through history, people wanted to find a cure and treatment for this disease. History. This is a timeline, and we're going to skim through the history. So, first in the 1700s, um, the first surgical technique was found. And then in 1894, the first mastectomy was performed. And in 1940, Chemotherapy was first invented. And later in 1970, lumpectomy involved a more limited surgical option. And then finally in 1990, genes were linked with this cancer to find prevention. The three types of treatment being done for cancer that we're going to talk about today are one, chemotherapy, two, radiation therapy, and three, immunotherapy. So first, chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is putting a liquid like poison technically into your body that is a roadblock to the reproduction of cells. And chemotherapy can be, per be performed by shots, pills, IVs, etc. Scientists and companies that are experts in this are Cancer Tr Treatment Center of America and Hot Dead. Treatment being no. done for cancer. That we're going to talk about today are one, chemotherapy, two, radiation therapy, and three, immunotherapy. So first, chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is putting a liquid like poison technically into your body that is a roadblock to the reproduction of cells. And chemotherapy can be, per be performed by shots, pills, IVs, etc. And scientists that you that are that scientists that are scientists and companies that are experts in this are Cancer Tr Treatment Center of America and Hot Dead. Now moving on to radiation therapy. Radiation therapy. What is radiation? So radiation therapy uses high energy rays to kill cancer cells. And there are two types of main ways to that radiation is performed. One, external beam is a type of radiation that affects the affected area from the outside. And then internal is when a doctor injects a device that can work in the inside of your body. And the scientists or companies that expert in this are the Cancer Treatment of America and New Links Genetics. Last but not least is immunotherapy. What is immunotherapy? Immunotherapy is stimulating and training immune system to fight off cancer cells. So it's using your own body cells to learn how to fight the cancer cells like you do when you're sick. So this can be given to you through an injection or pills. And the scientists and companies are Dendrion, Merck, and William B. Coley. So here's the future of breast cancer. Scientists want to learn what the cancer feeds on and why, and they want to find a way to starve it so it will die instead of going and eating more cells. And then we also want to prevent it more so we don't have to get to high stages of this cancer. So you can take blood tests and urine samples at an early age, and we're still working on it genetic testing, and a vaccine, like your flu shot. And as we talked about before, immunotherapy is a work in progress, so they're trying to make advancements. So what will society look like in the future as this field advances? So hopefully there will be more people surviving breast cancer and a decrease in the number of deaths, just how it's been decreasing since 1990. As more people, sadly, are becoming diagnosed with this, debates on... The prices hopefully don't increase, but there is a likelihood. What you should take away from today is... New treatments are being made to fight cancer. 
So how can we help in our daily lives? We can one, spread awareness, and two, we can be proactive and make sure that you and the people around you are cancer free. <laughs> the end! Um, we hope you enjoyed this presentation and we hope you learned a lot about breast cancer. Yay!